All right, guys, Fool are coming to you with another video. Um, I hope all is well with y'all. Uh, you know, it, it's sad as I, as sad as it is to say this, and you guys aren't going to probably want to hear it. Uh, the Western woman is pretty much psychologically damaged, and I know it's going to sound pretty steep, but even mentally damaged. Because you have to understand something that, because of feminism, because of like uh, the simps and the betas, and because of how this society is set up, she's pretty much have free reign on doing whatever she wants. You know, people are gonna call me misogynist and things like that, but when the African household has order in it. It's, it's usually a reason for that. There's usually a reason for a man establishing order in the traditional African household as my father did and as his father did. And the women were content with that order. You know, they didn't have the need to uh, say things like, oh, you know, I can do what I want to do. I'm independent. I don't need no man. I don't need anything like that. And as a result of these kind of things and this kind of toxicity, the Western woman, I like honestly, as sad as as sad as it sounds, you if you if you decide that you want to go into those murky waters. You may need to get her some um, therapy, you know, beside, if, if you decide that maybe you want to date her or whatever the case may be, she may need therapy because of the damage that has been done to her. So let me give you a couple of examples of this, uh, these damages. Oh, I'm flattered. Uh, I've actually been getting this question a lot lately. Uh, the real reason is because I have four kids from... Okay, so the thing is, is automatically someone is uh, simping. And what they're saying is that... Uh, it, what What they're saying is that you know, how is she single? So they're already putting her on a pedestal already, you know. And now you're about to hear the reasons why she's single. So when you have guys like this, weak men who say things like, how are you single? Then these things are bound to happen. They're bound to think that they're more Val that, that their market value is higher than it really is because you have men who validate her. To be honest, it's gotten to a point with me, you know, um, shoot, I would like to consider myself like the way I look, you know, like just my looks in general. I would like to consider myself like a African looking Fidel Castro with cornrows. You know what I mean? Um, because we we both share a beard. You know what I mean? Uh, we both share common temperaments, you know? And we also share like, uh, like just a view on women that goes against what most women here believe about themselves. But even with these looks, you know, I've been getting approached but I, again, ignore the approaches. I don't acknowledge the approaches because of the simple fact this woman reinforces my idea about Western women. But let's continue and listen to what she has to say. The reason is because I have four kids from three baby daddy. Uh, the real reason is because I have four kids. Okay, she's giving the reasons why she's single. Let's hear them. I'm flattered. Uh, I've actually been getting this question a lot lately. Uh, the real reason is because I have four kids from three baby daddies, two failed marriages, and a hard age in a 
pear tree. So, as you hear, she has four kids, three baby daddies, and two divorces. Now, the three baby daddies, mostly likely being Chad, Kevin, and Ryan, the real question is like, what were, what was the conditions of those baby daddies? You know what I mean? Was the conditions that she was riding the cock carousel and you know, those kids just seemed to happen. Also, I don't know. Hopefully the, the two divorces came from the three baby daddies, you know, at, at this time, um, maybe, uh, you never know. She maybe had the baby daddies while being married. And that's why the divorces, that's why the divorces have occurred. You never know with these women though, but, um, hopefully the, the fathers have custody of the kids, inshallah. Um, unless they're uh, Kevin, Ryan, and Chad. You know, then I, I don't know if that's a good idea then, if they have custody of the kids, you know. But this just goes to show you that, like, this woman is damaged goods. And you heard the damaged goods as she sang um, as she added like a little jingle after the, um, after just unloading her baggage, right? Yeah. <laughs> and you see the look, you, you, you saw that look, you know, that's how, you know, she's dealing. The thing is when, when she did that look, you have to understand that though the maybe, I don't know for sure. But perhaps like the energies of those guys that she was with still resonate with her. So this is why she kind of did the, that kind of like crazy look that she had, you know. We never know with these women, though. But let's continue. A pear tree. Look at the look. Look. She even said herself, run, save yourself. So she's even telling you that like, yo, like I'm not right. You know, you, you're, you're going to be in for some hellish, you're going to be in for a hell of a, a time. That's not going to be good for you. You know, she's even, she's even saying that, you know, so that's just no, that's just shows you that she's a damaged woman and that the simp, who said, why are you single? I guarantee you, unfortunately, she's going to, um, he's going to go into her DM and drop in. I guarantee you, unfortunately, this is going to happen. But let's look at the next video and see what we got. So, it looks like here, this woman is, uh, I guess, you know, showing what having a sugar daddy provides. Now, the thing that I noticed is that she doesn't have a picture of her and she doesn't have a picture of the sugar daddy as well. So that just shows you that she's ashamed of basically being a high priced prostitute. And that possibly the sugar daddy in which she has is probably like not even like good looking, you know. Um, we don't know though. We 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 don't really know what's uh, what's the case with that, you know. But again, it just goes to show you that dealing with these Western women, like unfortunately, their souls are for sale. If they want sugar daddies who are going to, of course, pay for their lifestyle, but 
they're not going to be really attracted to them sexually, but they're still, the lifestyle is what they are after. And, you know, that lifestyle that they're after is just really, they're trying to substitute other things that are missing, right? So we have to realize something that with these Instagram models, like, I know it seems like, uh, these Instagram models are living the life. You see them in Dubai, you see them in all these places. However, they're, you know, they're, um, there's conditions that come with those things that they're not showing you. Well, let's look at the next video. And this one's short, but it just goes, it just basically proves my point. Okay, so because you have like uh, the body positivity movement, so you have people like who will say that no matter what, like, you know, you're beautiful, even if you're fat, sloppy, and unkept. Um, and having holes all over the uh, all over your 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 face and your nose as well because because people have said that and because feminine feminism has said this women have ran with it and this same woman feels entitled to anything that she wants while unfortunately looking like a sasquatch so it goes to show you like the deep, deep problems and psychological problems that the Western world has created with their women. Um, I'll give you an example. Uh, there's that one woman, her name is T something and she's overweight and people are giving her a round of applause for her thought like behavior, you know? What you'll find on Instagram and all these social media websites is that when, when these women do these body positivity things and stuff like that, and basically post nude without any clothes on, regardless of the shape, size, and form, they are in essence trying to convince you that you're supposed to accept them in that way. Meanwhile, you're putting the work in, you're do running like three to five miles a day. Meanwhile, you're at the gym working on your body and like really uh, putting the work in, in, in the gym. And they actually expect you to, uh, to bow down and cater to them. Now, the messed up thing about this video is there was actually a guy in the video, as you hear, you know, and this just goes to show you that simping is real and and also, you know, um, desperation is real. Imagine if that guy didn't give her attention. she may be borderline by do something crazy if she didn't receive that attention from that guy. But because she already looks crazy, but, you know, that's just neither here nor there. So let's go to the next clip. Sometimes the person that you want doesn't deserve you. Say it again. Sometimes the person that you want doesn't deserve you. So, what in essence, what she's saying is that uh, the Pookie and Ray Rays that she wants, she knows that they're not good for her, but she has already taken them anyway, you know? She's came to the conclusion that, like, Pookie and Ray Ray 
put her through so many things. And you can tell that they put her through so many things because she had she has the short haircut, she has the black nail polish, and she has the tattoos everywhere. And because Pookie and Ray Ray put her and Chad put her through all these things, she has come to the realization that, you know, oh well, I should have went with um I should have went with like uh Rashid, who was on this square, who was doing the right thing, who was honorable, who was willing to maybe invest in me. But now she realizes it's too late. And although that she still wants like Pookie, Ray Ray, Chad and Tyrone, they're going to put her still through the they're still going to put her through the ringer even more now because she's probably hit the wall and you can tell with the with just the the overall look of her that she's like kind of like damaged goods right no 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 my question is why do we pick those people well the reason why you pick them is because number one society tells you that you can pick them and number two, you're so wrapped up in what the world think is what the world thinks that is right that you're willing to go against like what's really right. You know, um, the thing about these Western women is that they think that the Kardashians are right. They think that Cardi B is right. They think that. Um, Hillary Clinton is right. They think that uh, Tila Tequila is right. They think that Amber Rose is right. And because they think all of them are right, they go and run with that dialogue and run with that with that way of thinking. And so they end up with like a a a Chad, a, a Ray Ray, or something like that. And then after they end up with them, they realize that, man, I didn't messed up. You know, I didn't messed up. I should have went with someone else. You know, it's crazy because there was actually a girl who Will Smith, before he got famous, he was trying to get at. And that girl said that he was too nerdy or something like that. And then, of course, now that he's hit Mr. Big Time, she regrets that decision. But I'm pretty sure that at the time that Chad, um, Tyrone, and also um, Terrell were blowing her back out. Well, let's continue on. What makes us pick the person that we know subconsciously doesn't deserve our love? Huh? Sometimes. You can tell that she's hurt, too. You can tell that she's like, like pretty crazy. You know, you can tell that there's something wrong there with how she is. But let's look at this short clip right here. That was it. We do not care. So in this clip, the woman actually said that, um, the, the the thing is, is that this shows the thirst of men. This shows like the thirst of men and this shows the, the bad influence that social media can have on men as well, who are who are weak minded and who think with their maniocas instead of think with their brains. You know, this shows that what happens if that you you, you follow what your manioca wants instead of following logic so this this woman said that you know she had she 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 tells men that she's about to be with that she has herpes right um and then the she says that the guy's response to that is they don't care so the fact that she's willing to put this not only on tiktok and for the and something very per, this is very personable 
This is something very personal. The real, the re, it's kind of crazy that she's willing to disclose this to the public when this should be something, a personal affair. But she's letting the whole public know that she's burning. And of course that burning comes from cock carousels. And unfortunately, guys in their thirstiness are willing to add to that cock carousel. So they're willing to be another cargo um, load on that cock carousel that she already read, uh, has written. And unfortunately for them, they could be treading in some dangerous waters because what if she gives it to them and then they go lay down with another person and then that other person gets it too. And it's kind of crazy how she's dancing about it, you know, that she has herpes, you know. But society has made it okay. You know, this is what society has created. You know, society has created these... Um, these standards, basically. So the last video pretty much sums it up. And it just goes to show again that, you know, when you're dealing with these Western women, you may be dealing with like a nut job. OK, and they may not tell you they're a nut job, but you may need to like find out before it's too late. But let's 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 go ahead and listen. Tell me your mom shouldn't be a mom without telling me your mom shouldn't be a mom. Uh, my mom had an orgy with the man that I wanted to lose my virginity to. So, already you have, like, you have a conflict and you had a daughter and a mother fighting over a man. And that just shows you, like, what Western women do to their children. Now, the mom shouldn't have been lewd. The mom was lewd as it is. Having an orgy, you know, the, the mom is lewd. She's very lewd. So if the mom is lewd, what is the daughter going to be? You know, um, I remember there was a time where Ja Rule um, and Eminem were going back and forth and and there was a line that Ja Rule said that was kind of like, oh, Ja Rule said that, um, like, your mom's a known drug dealer and your girlfriend's a slut. What is that going to make Haley when she grows up? And, you know, I have to say that this that line applies to, you know, this woman right here, unfortunately, because of her mom. Her mom laid the foundation early on in the bad way. Well, let's continue. My mom had a fear of having fat kids and she would make me take diet pills in elementary school and middle school. And if I ate too much, she'd make me run until I threw up. So again, you, you have a toxic Western mother who probably watched America's top model, who probably watched, um, this kind of programming that gave Western beauty standards, uh, that, that these were the Western beauty standards. And so she unfortunately put these abusive methods upon her own daughter. And, you know, it's, it's sad that this occurred, you know, and yeah. When I got a job at Burger King and was doing well, she decided to become a shift leader and she smacked a bag of shake mix in front of all my coworkers and said it juggled like my fat belly. So the mother was definitely a wicked, a, a wicked woman. You would think that her mom would aspire to doing something else than being a shift leader at Burger King in order to set the example for her daughter. You know, I mean, you would think that she would aspire higher 
to do something like that, but she didn't. And then on top of that, you have to understand, like, okay, she didn't teach her daughter how to be a wife either. And that's where that's why her daughter probably ended up running around lawly, lawless and reckless as well. She used to be a sugar baby and a stripper. And she So there you have it, you know, her her mom was a stripper. Her mom was for the streets. You know, her mom shouldn't have had kids in general. But, you know, these Western women, they use kids for collateral now. You know. And so. They create, unfortunately, you know, they create monsters, you know, they are monsters and they will create more monsters. Right. And it's sad because unsuspecting guys are like, oh, crap. You know, there's unsuspecting guys who are supposed to be like, oh, like in 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 a good area, be in the know, be be good and be on 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 cold. And this may unfortunately hit them by surprise. It'd leave me for weeks on end with no food or electricity in the house while she had fun with men. So what I'm trying to get at is this. In dealing with the Western woman, you're not only dealing with her, but you're dealing with her past trauma. You're dealing with the multiple guys she's been with. You're dealing with the disgusting things that she's done. You're also maybe dealing with things that she experienced at home. And so that's why maybe it's better for you not to deal with them at all. In order to save yourself, especially if you've done, if you haven't done any wrong. And the thing is, most of the time, if you do try to save them, they're going to be unappreciative of what you're trying to do. So it's better for you to not do it at all and save your energy. But let's continue. She left me alone on my 16th birthday because the day before my family had a cookout and I decided to stay with them instead of go with her and her new sugar daddy. And she got mad at me and went to a bar and partied with her friends. So I don't know how old her mom is, but it just goes to show you her mom just really defies what the Western woman is today. I'll tell you a story. I was at um, in a place called Long Beach, California at one time. I was at a cafe. There's a lot of bars in, uh, in that section. So I ran across a woman, she was like 40 something years old, and she was hanging with like 20 year olds and things like that and going to the bar. So I said, her ass needs to be at home with her kids. And I said it out loud. A lot of people looked at me and one certain woman got very upset and offended at what I had to say. And I answered her anger and her aggression by saying, We'll, we'll see how your way of thinking works out for you in a few years. Fast forward, divorced, kids, fat, doggy mommy. So, 
Yeah. I've been good enough in my mom's eyes. I've always just been a competition to her. I accidentally worked into a tree because I was so upset she was leaving me again with another man. And she punched me in the face because of it. So, that's really a sad case when it comes to these Western women. But I, I, you know, I did this because of the simple fact that it just goes to show you how deep the damage has been done. How deep like these Western women have damaged themselves or how deep they've been damaged because of like circumstances in which they put themselves in. You know what I mean? So that's why I I say, and, I, and this is a reminder to me myself because I don't even give them the time of day. But trust and believe. I don't even give them the time of day. If they even look at me, I look away. You know, I look away real quick. Okay, like my, my eyes are like, as a matter of fact, it happened today. There was this one uh, Western woman who said, um, you know, uh, she was like talking to me, trying to talk to me. And she said, I, you know, I was looking at you, huh? I didn't answer her, you know? I didn't answer her at all. I just kept it moving. I kept it going, you know, because at this point, after you see things like this, it's, it's, it's borderline scary. You know, it's borderline scary what's happening. You know, um, there's a movie. It was called um, Scream, and it was about the serial killer. You know, and they... The, the 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 character, you know, the serial killer said, what's your favorite scary movie? And the guy said, uh, Showgirls, absolutely frightening. And so, like, when someone asks me what my fear is, I say, um, you know, it, as, as crazy as this sounds, I feel like, you know, when, when dealing with these Western women, it's almost like you're in a, it's almost like that horror game, Resident Evil, because you don't know, like, you don't know, you don't know what kind of, like, trauma they have. You don't know what kind of, like, monster you're going to deal with, right? So, I mean, my recommendation and my ending to this video would be to, you know, whoever you pray to make sure you like really pray to them hard that you that they keep you safe and that they keep you away from them because they're most of the time they're carrying they're carrying this baggage you know they're carrying the the baggage that talk like Chad Tyrone and all of them um imparted into them you know but anyhow uh that's all I got for now Leave your comments, like, and subscribe to the page, and I'll be at you with another one. Cooler signing out. Njao Rama.